What's up, y'all? Big Herc 916. I like to stay late to you guys with game. And if you haven't got a chance to subscribe to the channel, please do so so that you can stay laced up. Don't want you to miss out on something that may help your life, maybe motivate you, maybe get you to make a wiser choice in life. Also check out BigHerc916.com for more on life coaching. And uh, I'd love to hear you guys' comments and the type of videos you guys would like me to make. I want to talk about energy and what you send out into the world. You know, a lot of people go through life and they don't realize that the things that happen to them are because of what they've actually sent out into the world, into the universe. Basically, when you think of something, every thought has to have a, somebody receive it on another end, whether it be um, somebody across the world, somebody, you know, sitting next to you. Um, that's what it talks about when people say, hey, I could, you know, I read your mind or uh, is it maybe a deja vu type situation. It's energy that you're sending out, you know, thoughts, different things um, as far as your attitude, how you look at life. If you look at life as being shitty, then you're going to have a shitty life, plain and simple. You know, I get people that hit me up and say, hey, you know, I'm down in the dumps uh, socially, economically. Um, I'm not very happy. I do drugs. I drink. What should I do? What do you mean? What should you do? Fucking change your attitude. I mean, I can't do nothing for somebody who is content on entertaining those kind of thoughts. You know, I, I told a couple of people like, hey, man, you know, do something different with your thoughts. And they're like, well, I don't want to. Well, then don't email me. Hey, don't reach out to me to basically waste my time talking to you about something you don't want to change. You know, you got to change what you perceive life as, you know, what you send out. You know, if you send out positive vibes, you send out uh, energy relating to success, uh, change, hope, things will come up, you know, things will appear and they might not appear like you want them to. You're not going to find a bag of money on the curb or you're not going to go to the ATM and get an extra hundred dollars. You might not win a scratch off for the lottery, but it might be a phone call for an opportunity. You might get an email for an interview. You might have somebody approach you in a store and say something in casual conversation that might be an opportunity. So, you know, different things will appear in your life, but it's not because just, wow, you know, mysteriously it happened. No, it's because you were, you were thinking it. You basically thought it into an existence and that's how it works. You know, so when they talk about the laws of attraction, and I've talked about this before, and just energy, it's all about what you think your life should be worth. If you don't think money's important, then it's not going to be important to you. You're, you'll make enough just to survive, and that's it. But if you think money is everything, then, uh, you know, you'll be overwhelmed with it. You'll be consumed with it, you know. Maybe to the point where you'll, you'll make bad choices to try to attain it. So you got to keep a balance too, you know, you don't want to become infatuated with something to the point where it just, it controls your life. So, you know, energy works in all kinds of ways. You know, I've seen people, which a lot of youngsters, you know, they don't understand how it works. So they do different things that they think is cool, you know, thinking that they're a gangster or whatever the case may be. And I just want to let you know, you will find somebody who is just as gangster, but real who will call your bluff. I see guys all the time hooping and hollering and they were sending out the energy that they were the, you know, the tough guy and they were looking for wreck and sure enough, they would find it. So you will find what you seek when you put the vibes out there, whether it be good or bad, you put good vibes out, you will find good things, positive things will happen to you. You know, it's, it's not just a physical world world we live in. It's also a spiritual world and it operates on vibration patterns of energy that are sent into the you know universe and it attracts those things that you most most likely vibrate at. So, you know, that's why I say be careful the company you keep, watch what you entertain yourself with, because all this affects your chi, you know, your balance, your your third eye, your ability to 
avoid situations, your ability to be successful. You know, some people always say, man, why things never happen the way I want them to and that blah, 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 blah. Well, for one, you're fighting an uphill battle because you say you want something, but you do something, you think totally uh, opposite of what you want to achieve. And then the people you hang around with are all people who aren't going to wear in life. They're basically losers. So <laughs> you can't be in a losing cesspool, but think that you're going to have success. You got to cut ties and cutting those ties and, you know, changing the way you think and view things and what you have your goal set at will make the biggest difference in how life treats you, how the universe treats you. So just a little bit on energy for you guys who don't really understand it, who didn't understand it. Maybe you got a better understanding now, but in a simple form is what you send out, you shall receive. And it's all about the way you perceive and how you look at yourself. You know, most people are, are poor, not because they don't have the ability to make money. It's because of how they think they're poor and, and the way they, they perceive themselves. And they don't think that they're as valued as they should be. And that's why they're poor. Not to say that there are economic conditions that affect your ability to earn an income, but you gotta you, you you gotta look outside the box and you gotta if things aren't working out in this particular neighborhood, move to another one. You know, get up and move. You know, if people don't want you to leave. Well, hey man, it's either you or them. So you know, the poor mentality affects you economically, and you gotta think positive. But that's energy, big hurt. Think positive, be successful. Um, this is energy. I'm out.